All right, so account is created on AWS, but the one thing you need to pay attention that you might not be able to use AWS account immediately because it takes some time to activate your account. All right, now let's go ahead, click on launch a virtual machine. Otherwise, you can get the list of services from here. And we are going to create here a new compute machine on EC2 instance. If you don't get a page like this, then uh, you might need to wait for uh, some time to activate your account. All right. So it says that I do not have any of running instance here and there is no elastic uh, IP snapshot, etc. All right. So the first of all, I need to create a new instance. So you need to click on here, a launch instance. All right. So there I have now a launch instance. Now at this launch instance, we have here a many type of options to create an instance. So the first of all, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create here a Ubuntu server. All right. So either we can create a Windows machine or a Ubuntu machine. Both are, uh, you know, well equipped and uh, we can create any of these. Uh, let's go ahead first create a Windows. Then later I'll show you how you can create, uh, create an uh, Linux or Ubuntu machine as well. All right. So what I'm going to do here, uh, let me first select here a free tier only. Once you click on a free tier only, then you will get here all of these options. All right. So what I'm going to do here, a Microsoft server. All right. Let me see. All right. Let's go ahead. Select this one. Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base. All right. You can select this one. Once you select this, you will get all of these options. So this T2 micro is eligible for a Windows server machine. All right. So click on this Windows. All right. And then I'm going to click on this add configuration. So let's go ahead. Take all these as a default parameter. It says that how many instances we want. We want just one instance there. And uh, let's go ahead. Leave other parameter as it is. Those parameters are not much of uh, uh, our use. And uh, then we are going to create here. That's the 30 GB. And that is the limit for a free tier. All right. So there you see. And after that, if you want to add any custom tag, then security. So in this security, what I'm going to do here, you see there the type is RDP. So this is only accessible from remote desktop protocol. So for the, you know, the EG purpose, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on all traffic. Do remember if you are deploying any uh, servers, a private servers or any sensitive information on the server, then you should not select this all traffic. All right. Only you select some custom uh, TCP rules so that uh, the server can be accessed from only specific points. Otherwise, it will be opened for a public and uh, anybody can do some nasty things with the server although this is not like open will be for public but uh, anybody who have uh, account information then they can uh, log in but if you choose here some custom ip and udp rule then in that case if uh, anybody have your account information uh, even after that they have to be at uh, some specific ip address all right. So these are the some kind of, uh, you know, uh, doing some firewall, etc. to secure your server. All right. So with the all traffic, it is accessible to all port and from all the sources. All right. Then I'm going to do here review and launch. After that, it will show you all these information which you can review. After that, I'm going to do here a launch. All right, then it will ask whether you have existing key pair or not. I do not have any. So I'm going to do here a create new key pair. All right. And then I'm going to uh, write here name of this key pair as a KGP talkie. You need to 
download this key pair and this key pair will be only available for one time once you lost this uh, kgptalki.pem or your key pair then you will not be able to uh, download it from the next time so you need to save this uh, uh, the, this key otherwise you will lose the access to your instance after that i'm going to click on launch instance this launch instance might take some time to boot it up so what i'm going to do here i'm going to stop this video here and uh, then i'll start in the next video and then i'll show you how you can get connected with your ec2 instance all right i'll see you in next lesson